Hello Sangha and uh, welcome to day one. Uh, if you have started this at the beginning of 2024, then congratulations. If you've started it later or another year or who knows when, then that's great too. Um, so we're going to spend the next month doing 20 minutes of practice each day. Um, the, the thing that I want is to realize that the hard part is already done. That you are uh, getting to the mat, getting in front of, or creating the space to do this practice together, and there's lots of people going to be doing it together. And um, the hard part is, you know, it's like when you run, it's like getting your shoes on and getting out the door is the hard part. You know, if you're like me, then you look for this thing or that thing, and all sorts of things get in the way. Um, and Yoga talks about this, this idea that we try to cultivate tapas, which is overcoming um, the mental resistance to whatever it is we decide that we want to commit to. Okay? Whether that's a, a yoga practice, a movement practice, a learning something new. Um, but anyway, you're here, so I'm glad you're here. Um, let's begin lying on our back with our, our knees bent and our feet flat. Very easy practice today, just easing ourselves in. Over the month we'll get stronger, uh, we'll get um, more connected, more developed physically, hopefully mentally, and um, we'll be sharing some yoga philosophy each day too. Okay, so let's begin lying on our backs with your knees bent, your feet flat. How I always, almost always like to begin if it's warm enough. Um, by the way, I'm in Forte Ventura, so it's warm enough here. So put your right hand in your belly, your left hand on your heart. And allow yourself just to let go. Let go of the last year. Let go of the difficult times, let go of the moments, the, even the good moments, and prepare yourself for this moment here. Where you're connected to your breath. You're feeling the ground underneath. And let both hands rest by your sides. And whenever you're ready to take your next inhale, slowly raise your arms all the way up over your head, all the way towards the floor behind. And as you exhale, let them come back down by your sides. And try this a few more times, inhaling your arms up and over. Exhaling slowly back down. We're looking for smoothness of movement and smoothness of breath. And when you've done three, maybe four, let your arms rest. Take your focus to your feet. Feel the ground underneath your feet. Feel the texture underneath your feet. Feel the temperature around your feet. And then start to push the ground down. And as you inhale, let your hips rise. And as you exhale, let your hips come down. And try that a couple more times. Getting a little bit higher and slowly coming down. If you're like me, sometimes this is an interesting thing for your knees. Sometimes there's little clicks and pops. And even though we'll do this movement many days over the next month, we'll try and approach it anew each time. So when you finish the next bridge posture and come down, add your arms back into. So now when you inhale, your hips rise, your arms come up and over. And as you exhale, your arms come back down, your hips come back down. And try and make that movement smooth, connected, in harmony with both your upper body and your lower body. Taking your time. No rush. 
easing into the year, easing into your practice. And when you finish the last one, bring your feet up off the floor, take your hands around your knees and gently rock from side to side. Make circles with your knees, one direction, the opposite direction. See how that feels? Feels really nice on my lower back today. And then let your left foot rest on the floor. Your right foot come over your left thigh, spread out both arms, level with your shoulders and let your knees gently drift from side to side. Letting this movement be very pleasant and comfortable, so not forcing it to go deeper than you feel ready for today. Take your time and let your body naturally unfold. Maybe staying a bit longer on one side if you feel that's helpful. And when you come back to the centre, unravel, hug both knees towards you. Again, walk your hips away from your head. Let your right foot rest on the floor, your left foot come over your right thigh. Spread out both arms. And again, let your knees gently drift from side to side. You might find that one side, your body enjoys it more. And one side is just good. It's not great. Okay, so we have a good side and a great side. And then come back to the center. And again, hug both knees towards you. Circling things around, seeing how that feels for you. Roll out to the side that feels comfortable. Push into the floor and come to a seated position. See how that's feeling for you today. Shuffle your hips a little bit further back. And let your hands rest on your knees. Okay, So you might be somebody whose hips are a little tighter, so your knees are a bit further up. You might be somebody whose knees almost come to the ground. But whatever you do, let your hands rest on your knees and lean forward. And make a little like side to side movement here as you bring your fingers to the floor. Maybe your hands come to the floor. Maybe your elbows soften to the floor. Noticing how that feels for you. And then slowly walk your hands back. Take your hands behind you and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Elevate your chest. And maybe move your shoulders from side to side if that's feeling good for your shoulders. Maybe turn your head from side to side if that feels okay for you. Reach up with your left hand. Try and get as high as you can. Really feel like there's something up there you want to touch with your fingers and then bring it to the opposite knee. Turn your whole body to look behind. Inhale up with both arms. And turn to the other side. Using your hand against your knee, your fingers behind for some traction. Inhale, going tall, reaching, lengthening, smiling, if that feels okay, and coming to the other side. Inhale, tall, long, lengthening and reaching, and turning, if that feels okay. Inhale, back up. And exhale, shake off on the way down. Get nice and loose through your fingers, your wrists, through your forearms, through your elbows, through your upper arms, through your shoulders, roll your shoulders. My teacher, one of my teachers, Gary, who teaches a lot of anatomy, always coins this phrase, phrase, motion is lotion. You know, like movement is just so good for our bodies, good for our minds. So from there, place your left hand on the floor, inhale up to your right hand, try and get a little bit higher. Reach again, open, and then come over to the side this time. And then let's try that on the other side. Then he'll lengthen in, reach in, and exhale over again. Try that one more time, okay? And heal up. Sometimes people end up doing this. Try more bringing your arm over if you can. 
So you feel really down your waist and your ribs start to open. And then try that on the other side. Reaching over and coming back to the center. Bring your fingers in front again. Let's see if anything has changed, you know? Like one of the things we should do is practice, but we should also notice if there's a change as we practice. If anything has maybe become a little bit easier. Obviously this is physical, but also <laughs> we want to notice if anything mentally and emotionally has become easier as we go through the years and years and years and years of practice, okay? Okay, so let's bring our hands forward and bring your knees towards the center and bring yourself to tabletop. See how tabletop feels for your body this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whenever you've managed to find the time, okay? And shift your hips a little bit further back, shift your hips a little bit further forward Try that a few times, just maybe sending your head back and your hips back so you feel your abdomen draw towards your spine. And then add some cat and cow. So let your belly draw away from the floor and then let your belly come down towards the floor, taking your gaze forward. Maybe think about your nose pointing towards your belly button and then as far away from your belly button as you can. Let your nose kind of guide the movement. Good. And nothing too intense today, okay? Just prepare your body for a month of uh, pleasant movement, okay? If you can walk your hands back towards your knees, walk your hands back towards your knees, and let your hips rest on your heels, okay? Good, see how that feels for you. I've got this little, um, what we call it, sheet. <laughs> It's not much more than that. I got from India when I was there in 2020. It's got some nice elephants on it. Um, so if you, can, if you can't kneel, put some cushions under here, put some cushions under here, or pillows under here, but get some support. Hopefully, you know, if you stick at it for the month, by the end of the month, you should be kneeling comfortably. As long as there's no issues with your knees or issues, stop, you've been able to kneel. From there, let's take our hands forward again and reach your left leg back. Extend it out as far as you can. Imagine there's something you just want to touch there, like reaching for a light switch. And then bring your knee towards your elbow. And then try that again. So taking your foot back, your gaze forward, and then letting your knee come forward. So it lends itself to a natural cat and cow movement as we do this. And then from there, the next time you take your foot back, rather than bring your knee to your elbow, bring your foot outside your hand and lean towards it. See if you can land that foot like a ninja, right? So you don't slam it on the ground. Let's try that one more time. So we'll take our leg back, okay? And then we're gonna bring it forward and try and land it gently. So this might not happen the first time, the first month, the first year, but try and drop forward and then let your body weight come towards it, and then your body weight come back. Your body weight comes forward, and your body weight comes back, okay? Maybe circling your hips around, trying just to make movements that feel like it eases off your body. Tuck underneath the toes of your back foot, and move your heel away. Sink your hips a little lower. Sometimes we um, think of this a bit like a hammock, and then bring your hips up. So you, maybe you think about this position more like a tent. So you're sinking down, gazing forward, and then everything comes up and looks underneath. Sink your hips down one more time, turn to your front leg, and heel up with the hand beside it. And exhale, let it come down. Okay, let's try that again, right? See if you can adjust anything you need to adjust, your foot position, your hand position, your back foot position, whatever you need to adjust to make this movement more fluid, more graceful, and then back down. Let your back knee come down, send your front leg back, open both knees wide, touch your big toes together, hips on your heels, elbows towards the floor, forehead towards the floor, taking slow breaths in and out here.
Lift your head, lift your shoulders, lift your elbows, bring your knees back to the center, and now reach out with your right leg. So send your right leg as far back as you can. Reach in for something like a light switch, or like you're just like finding something with your foot that's slightly out of reach, and then bring your knee to your elbow. Let it go back again, again, taking your gaze forward. It's a very relatively simple practice today. It depends how you're feeling. You could be a little hungover. You could be, um, have had a really tough 2023. So try and make this pleasant. Anything you want to miss out, miss out. Anything you want to add in, add in. So taking your foot back. And this time land that foot gently outside your hands, okay? Moving things around. If you want to do that again, like we did on the other side, you can do it again. Just trying to refine your movement, you know? I think that's what we'll be thinking a lot about this month. How can we refine how our body moves and how we're connected to our body? Tuck underneath the toes of your back foot. Move your heel away, sink your hips down, looking forward, almost like you're ready to spring forward. And then let your hips come back up again. Let your hips sink down, looking forward. And bring them back up. Sink your hips down, turn to your front leg, and heel up with the hand beside it. And exhale down. Okay? Any small adjustments? Okay, so thinking about what would give you more support, more stability, more comfort to make that movement one more time. Inhaling all the way up. And exhaling down. Let your back knee come down. Send your front leg back. This time bring both knees together and try kneeling again. Okay? See how that feels for you today. Hmm. So don't, I really don't want us to think that the, the practice is to be hard. You know, sometimes people are like, that, I should grind out the practice. That's the hard part. That's the the practice of tapas. The practice of tapas is overcoming the mental barrier to get to the mat. So we're going to take some time to find a comfortable seated position. Use some cushions, use some pillows. So that we can tap into one of the aspects of yoga that you, if you know me, you know, is like a, a the primary thing for me is, is what we do with our breath, okay? So all we're looking for today is smoothness of breath. So in the same way that you would pour from a long spout, if you had a watering can, you could really finely pour, rather than pour from like a bucket, you know, where you can't really pour that finely. So think about your breathing with that fine, fine, spout, okay? So you're narrowing the breath slightly and making it smoother. And automatically, as you make it smoother, it becomes a little longer. If you want to do this lying on your back and spend some time lying on your back, take some time to rest on your back and breathe smoothly in and out. Let Shavasana drift you away if you want to lie on your back and then just pause the video or stop the video. Then you're welcome to do that. And whenever you want to, you can move your fingers or toes. If you're lying on your back resting, just listen, don't move. Yesterday as I flew out of Glasgow, 
it was very cloudy and cold. And when we came up through the clouds, it was instantly sunny, you know. And um, one of the things that we want to do this month is work out what are the clouds in our life that restrict us from feeling the sunshine, okay, from connecting. And the sunshine is in you, the, the peace that's in you, okay. So Indraji says yoga is a practice of subtraction, not addition, okay. So what do we need to get rid of to bring us this stillness, calmness, steadiness? Okay, that's our work for the month. Let your fingertips connect. If you're seated, if you're still lying on your back, just rest. Let the base of your palms connect and bring your thumbs up. Shanti, which means peace.